In today's video, I will show you five walls that you can actually pass with Rails W Crashdown. Similar to other movement spells, Rails Crashdown also gets a bit extended once you are at a wall you can barely pass. And I've gone into the practice tool and look for five walls that might not look possible, but actually are. Alright, and the first wall is actually this little boulder here in the alcove. And I think obviously most of you probably know that you can just jump over it that way. But you can actually also jump over it this way. This shows perfectly which mechanic we are going to use in this uh, video. Because if you just go under here and use crash down normally, you can see that you land around here. So you go from here to here and that's, that's not as long as this one. There are a few walls where you can do this. And yeah, this is the first one. Then we have the second one also here in the bot lane. And I think most of you were in the situation where you had to go over this wall right here. I mean, obviously you can go over here. This one is an easy one, but... Let's look at the first point where you can actually cross this wall when you come from the lane. And actually what you want to make sure here is that this little part of the of the tree points directly at you. And if it does, you can easily jump over here. And this distance is actually also quite far. I'm going to show you if the if this tree, if this part of the tree doesn't point at you, if you're a bit lower, you actually can't make it. If you st just step up a tiny bit, you can take as I said, this little part of the tree as a guideline. Once you reach that, you can jump over here. The other way around is actually pretty uh, similar. You just put your cursor right where this little point is and you can cross it. Alright, so this is actually the most interesting one. Because, let's be honest, this doesn't look possible for Rail Crash though. And if you just run there and randomly try it, it isn't. But actually, if you position yourself that this tree actually covers a part of Rel, exactly like this, then you can actually make it over. The other way around is, for me at least, it's a bit easier. You just have to point at this tree in the front. You have to cur put the cursor over this one, and then you can make it. But for the other way around, it's difficult this way around. If I just randomly try it, it's, it's the success, success rate is not that high. You actually have to really position yourself. This probably works too if, the, if you're like in the tree. No, it actually doesn't. You, you, have to, you have to make sure the tree is in front of you like this, and then you can make it. And yeah, so the other way around, you just point at the tree. Or you, you put the cursor on this tree in the front right here. And then you can make it. By the way, if any of you have found a way to pass this one. This one looks super passable, in my opinion. It looks like you can make it. Like, if, if you stand right here as well. It l I, 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 could, I, could have I could swear you can make it over here. But I haven't found the way yet. So... It seems like this little wall really prevents Rel from going over here. But if you know a way, let me know in the comments. Alright, now we have this tree stamp right here that you can actually jump over. Okay, I'm gonna ask you, how far up here do you think we can go? Like, on first glance, uh, especially because there's still some wall here, it doesn't even look like we can go over here. But actually, look at this, look at this. I made it all the way up here. Like, that's so wide. Like, here to here. One crash down. That's so insane. And of course, you can also make it back. In order to go back, you actually have to stand in the brush. If you're not in the brush, you don't make it. But if you go into the brush, you can make it over. But this is just, this is just insane that you can make it from here all the way up here. Like, if you chase someone that's running here and he wants to get to the tower, you just get him. Because that's so far. And then for the final wall, or rather walls, because I'm gonna be talking about this one and this one down here right after. 
So what I've noticed is that this one, the one on red side, is actually quite easy to, to get over. Yeah, actually, I actually made it first try. And to get back, this is this this one for some reason is really easy. You can also do it from multiple spots. Oh, wait, this one doesn't work, right? It, even, even this one works. So this one is really easy. But the interesting part is this one is not so easy. So when I just walk up there, not really something in mind. Nope. Nope. Maybe over here. Nope. It doesn't work. So there are actually two small spots where this works. And the first one is you have to stand on this little flower thingy here. And then you have to go hover over this little tree. And then you can actually make it over. You even hit the wolves, which is insane. Like from here to hitting the wolves. That's just that's just insane. I mean, just compare it to a normal crash down. If I crash down here in the middle. It's from here to here. And you can make it from here all the way up here. Like, that's so insane, actually. Like, if you manage to, like, get those crash downs down... I mean, they're, of, of course, rather situational, but they're still really, really good. Like, a chase up here happens not too seldom. And then you just make this and you catch him. Like, that's insane. Anyways, the second way you can get over this wall is actually at this little stone wall. And then you can... It even looks like there. this one uh, looks passable right here. Right here. I actually didn't manage to do it first time. So this one is also possible. You go to the little stone wall and then aim at this little gap. And then you can make it over. And also back. But anywhere else, this one just doesn't work. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, to summarize the walls we just passed, we have... We have this one right here, we have this tree right here, but we make it so fucking far, it's actually insane. We have this one right here, where you have to make sure that this tree covers up the horse of Rel in order to get over. Then we have this one, where we have another great indicator where to stand to get over. And we have the Elkhoff Boulder, which, yeah, this one is probably the most obvious one. But it just shows how far you can actually get with Crash Down. If you use a wall to your advantage. Like, that's so far. Honestly. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. And maybe these wall jumps will be useful for you guys in the future. I'll see you all in the next one.